people, I'm Darcy Gray, and I work at the Beaconfield Public Library, and I'm going to be playing the role of Becca Beckin using the script from Scene 2. My father used the last of his breath so that the story wouldn't die with him. I held his hand as the color drained from his cheeks. And when he saw me crying, he said, hush, there will be plenty of time to mourn for me later. But now is the time to listen. He insisted that I memorize his last words, though I didn't understand them at the time, for I was very young. The story he told was unlike any other fairy tale I had ever heard. And when he finished, he told me to reach into his jacket pocket, and I pulled out a small, strange book. He told me it was his prized possession, and that I should keep it safe always. The language in the book made no sense to me. But over time, the words have slowly made themselves known to me. I can't really explain it. But now I do understand. And as he asked, I kept the book safe. I even added some pages to the back and pretended it was my personal diary, I suppose to try to prevent other people from reading it. And I often wonder if my father wanted me to share his secrets with others. But I don't know if I ever will. Thank you.